Why did you call the police? Because my sister's disabled. She's mentally disabled. And I was not about to take her home looking like that. And if some infection or something happened, I'm responsible for her. I'm totally responsible for my sister. And when they, she gets injured like that, I have to make a report. She had an appointment with the doctor for a separate visit the next day. If the doctor would have seen how bad her neck looked, she would have questioned and probably reported her or reported me for bringing my sister in like that. So what I did is I took her to the urgent care. The doctor gave her an antibiotic and put a cream of an antibiotic for her. But they were more worried about her blood pressure because it was sky high. She was so in pain, so much pain, that they wanted to bring that down and focus on her blood pressure instead. Miss Eugenio, you wanted to say something? There's, there's a couple of things here. Earlier, she mentioned that her neck was bubbling up and bleeding. I got really, really close to it when I took my pictures, and I didn't see that. But in any case, the fact that she was staying there, still waiting for a police report, I was advising her she needs to go to the emergency room. If she feels it, it was that badly yeah. of an injury, she should probably get her seen. And then the other thing is, Sally was really calm. She was smiling and kind of moving around and waving at me and everything when I was standing there. I feel that the only reason that she probably had her blood pressure up is because Miss Ontivero's brother or son, he called her and then spoke with me and he was just yelling on the phone and cursing. And then he also called our salon and my stylist Anna answered. He did the same thing with her. And I feel like that could be the reason. So that was, her you're saying that her pressure. family, her family was probably stressing her. I think so. So at some point there was a discussion about insurance mm -hmm. and that was information you wanted. Yes. What did you want the insurance information for? I wanted to make a claim and let the insurance know that she had an employee that maliciously hurt a client. Why do you think it was malicious? She just doesn't strike me as somebody who would do something maliciously to hurt somebody. Now whether it was negligent or not is another issue. Yeah. Malicious, though, I, I, I don't know about that. I want you to tell me why you think well, that the, is. Well, I had never seen anybody use the clippers the way she was doing it to her. And then what I heard her say, que no le importa, I don't care. That's what really got me. And I said, I am not leaving here without making a police report. They have got to know what she did to my sister. All right, thank you all very much. Thanks. The parties are excused while we deliberate in this case. Court is now in recess. <laughs> Well, I was thinking about this case one way until my colleague here made the point to the litigants that on a technical basis, the complaint here was for malicious intent. It was not for negligence. But I don't believe this was malicious. And I don't believe it was intentional. Although not malicious and deliberate, it was certainly negligent. Under the circumstances, I believe there was pain and suffering. I agree. And, and the question is, are we entitled to uh, reframe look at her complaint for reframe her? Reframe it for her. That's the question. I have to point something out. The answer that the defendant submitted was totally different from what everybody testified here today. She said that there was an accident that took place because Gloria was nervous. In fact, what she said in her answer was as a result of her nervousness, her clippers or scissors slipped and grazed Sally's neck. Gloria said she realized what happened and got a towel in case the skin had been cut. And the defendant's first excuse was an accident happened and, her, and it just slipped. And that's negligence. Now the question is how much damage is I, I don't think it's five thousand. I don't either. <laughs> I don't either. And I don't think it's close, really. She paid thirty dollars for the haircut. All the medical costs themselves were covered. Were covered. All covered. Fifteen hundred dollars? See, I have problems pulling numbers from the sky. <laughs> We don't pull things out of the sky, but there is really no discreet way to quantify Let's pain and suffering. It. I don't think that $2,500 is reasonable. I think $5,000 is outrageous. Yes. So my feeling would be that maybe $500, $1,000 would be I said $1,500 before. I can live with $1,000. I wouldn't be able to justify anything higher, so I'd go with $1,000. I'm with you guys. And we should make clear that we are awarding this on the basis of a negligence claim rather than a malicious intent claim. Yes. Okay. Yes. We have a verdict? Yes. We have a verdict. Okay.